joins me now. You've been doing this for a couple of years, I hear. How long have you been doing cross-country skiing? Um, I've been doing it since I was about six. Wow. Um, I lived, my parents used to live over close to this park and so we would always come when I was little, um, my parents would pull my sister and I in a toboggan all the way here from our house and then we'd put on our, our little skis and just run around in the bunny rabbits, is this younger kids group mm -hmm. and then jack rabbits later on. Okay. So I kind of moved for the program, same with all my siblings and yeah, my parents enjoyed taking our whole family out to it. Yes. So it was. It was all of us together and then we took a break because you get busy with other things in school and mm -hmm. then I was asked to join the Saskwinter Games team okay. when I was grade 10 which is yeah like a high school age competition for the province mm -hmm. and then from there I've continued to race and it's been really fun just continuing to make friends in the sport and I don't know be more intense, have cool equipment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool. Let's talk a little bit about the workout around this because it's definitely a full body workout. Let's talk about, because you've got all those muscles going. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, there's a lot of things you have to uh, train. One of them is, well, I don't know if train's the right word, but your core, your mm -hmm. arms, and your legs okay. because you have to both do both uh, long distance skiing races and then as well as sprint races. Okay. So that's an, like an all round different, uh, different muscles and like movements of your body. So we've got the endurance for long ones and then for short races you have to work more on, of course, the speed and being fast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and plus there are two techniques for skiing, so you have to have different muscles for those as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to strap, or I'm going to strap <laughs> on the skis in a couple of minutes, and that's going to be really, really interesting because I've never done anything like this before. Do you have tips for a beginner like me? Um, well, one of them is definitely balance mm -hmm. and not leaning backward, just kind of keeping forward, okay. as well as um, keeping your weight shift, it's called weight shift, is a really important part of skiing, especially the skiing you'll be doing. Okay. So that's trying to get all of your body weight on one foot. Instead of shuffling around, you want to be completely on one foot and then switch completely to the other foot. Oh, wow. Ooh. So it's tricky to learn, but it takes some... <laughs> tricky to learn. <laughs> Great. This is going to be so awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, yeah. Lauren. We have more on Ghost Askitude in just a couple of minutes.